In this calculation, question 9, taken from activity 2.2, .2, a 400 volt, 6 pole, 20 kilowatt series motor has a full load efficiency of 90%. The armature has 60 slots and 5 conductors per slot. The back EMF induced in the armature is 375 volts when the useful flux per pole is 40 milliweber. And we need to calculate the following considering it is wave wound. Now before we do that, let's take a look at our uh, diagram. So first of all, it is a series motor. So the field winding is in series with the armature. So there's our carbon brushes and we have our armature assembly. Make a note to yourself, this is a motor. Now for a motor, just to remember that we have mechanical out and electrical in. So we make a note to ourselves. It's mechanical out and we have electrical in. Okay, across our terminals, in order for the circuit to operate, we have a voltage supply over here. And for a motor, it is drawing current from the supply. So we have current going through the series winding and we have current drawn by the armature. So in a series circuit, current stays the same. And for a motor, we always use our input power for our calculations. Okay, so let's take a look at everything that has been given to us. This is a, a six pole machine. So therefore we have uh, three pairs. The total number of armature conductors will be uh, 60 times five, and that'll be equal to 300 total conductors. The uh, flux per pole in milliweber was uh, 40. So to convert milliweber to weber, I'm just going to divide by 1000. So that will give us 40 over 1000 weber. Now the output power that was given to us was 20,000 watts and the efficiency of uh, 90%. So just a note before we start, to calculate the input power, it is the output power over the efficiency of 0.9. The output power is 20,000 watts. Your machine is always rated at output power unless specified, divided by 0.9. So therefore, the input power will be 22,222,22 watts. We'll round off to three decimal places. Right, now we can actually calculate the speed at which the motor is operating. We were given the uh, back EMF, so the best thing to do is to take a look at the EMF equation. 2 times pole pairs times Z times N times the flux all over C times 60. So therefore, to uh, calculate the speed, it will be the EMF multiplied by the number of parallel paths, multiplied by 60, all over 2 times pole pairs, times Z, times the flux. All right, so we'll substitute everything in here. The back EMF that was given to us was uh, 375 volts. Uh, this machine is wave wound, so therefore there are two parallel paths divided by 2. Uh, this is a six pole machine, so therefore there are three pairs, and the total number of armature conductors was uh, 300, and the flux per pole, in order to convert milliweber to weber, I'll just write it as a fraction, and the speed in revolutions per minute is 625 revs per minute. Right, now 9.2. We need to calculate the combined res resistance of the armature and series field. So let's write that down. The question is asking for RA plus RSE together. Okay, and they want to know how much that is. If the brush contact voltage is 3,8 volts. So first of all, let's write down the EMF equation for a series motor. It is always minus for a motor. So that's going to be IARA minus I S C R S C minus I A times the brush contact resistance. Now, just using a little bit of mathematics, we'll simplify this by saying V minus I A. Remember, current stays the same in series, and we will have R A plus R S E 
minus the brush contact voltage, which is uh, 3,8 volts. All right, that's the easiest way to do it. Let's substitute. So the terminal voltage um, that was given to us was 400 volts. Okay, now we need to calculate the current. We don't have the current. And just remember, current stays the same in series. So all I'm going to do is calculate the supply current, which will be the power over voltage. Now, for a motor, you always use your input power. That was 22,222,222 divided by the voltage of 400. So our current we get here is 55,555 amps. Okay, so current stays the same in series, so that's going to be 55,555, and we do not know what the resistance is, but we're going to be working out both, minus 3,8. Now, just a reminder that the uh, back EMF that was given to us was uh, 375 volts. Okay, so we've got the back EMF, we've got the terminal voltage. And he has a multiplication sign. He has a subtraction sign. So just doing a little bit of maths, taking 3,8 across will become a plus. Taking the 400 across will become a negative, divided by negative 55,555. Okay, this means that uh, RA plus RSE should work out to 0, 0,382 ohms. Alright, thanks guys for watching this video.